don't know if I'm okay. I don't see the light of day. Looking up to higher ground, thinking that I'll be your sweet escape. These days, gotta. I just came. I'm heading back home because I stick to the list. I didn't have my kids with me today, so. I stick to the list of the stuff that I wanted to get for like food for the week. Good morning everybody. Today is Sunday. I am on my way to a road trip. If you guys hear a lot of noise in the background. It's stuff going in and out of the house. I don't understand like when you're a spring burger like the more you come home the more stuff you got to leave every time you come home. It's like when we're moving him back inside from back to school it's gonna be a headache but I am on my way to a road trip in Tampa and it's still cloudy outside but the weather let's see Let's go. I was going to make some tea, but um, I don't think I have time for some tea. So I'll stop on the road and get something. But let's go on a road trip to Tampa. Well, y'all started. Just got back from dropping David. I need to go change and sew some more comfortable clothes. And my hair needs to be oily. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know what else I'm going to get into this Sunday. But so far, that's the only thing I'm going to do. Man, I'm tired. I don't want to take a nap. But my baby is so big. He no longer need me. As soon as he got to school, he's all the matter change. He pick up his stuff and he's like, I'm ready to go. You know? Hmm. I guess that's life. Your kids are growing up. They are getting more adult. They're becoming more responsible. The stuff that you didn't know that was gonna, like that was going to be an issue, it's not an issue. Like really, they just literally, they he's he's a big boy. He's no longer a baby, but I'm, he's still gonna be my baby. But he's a big boy. I have to admit it. You know, he had the nerves to give me a hug and put his head over my put his head over my head. Like, how are you going to hug your mother and put your head over her head? And I'm like, I do that. At least you could have lower your... And he started laughing. Seriously, David? Seriously. But... everybody today is Monday and as you can see I just make myself a nice cup of coffee on the new cup and so far so good I am loving my new cup but the tea is hot too so I think I'm gonna let the tea rest even though this morning wake up workout drop the kid to school and also the weather is gloomy it looks like it's going to win or if you haven't started raining yet but I need to finish drinking my tea, juggle my general, and go take a shower and get ready for the day. I'll see you guys in a little while. Oh, and also, let me show you my cute outfit. See, it's, it's all about the cute outfit for workout. That's why get me going. My cute. pants, you guys remember from the previous vlog, is from Target and my top. Lululemon, let me see, cute, but I need to find some sport bra, Oof, I think I, I need to invest maybe on some Lululemon sport bra, I don't know, because sometimes the bra doesn't like sit where it needs to sit, so that's it, and I felt cute, gotta tuck that stomach in, behind that, we look cute this morning when we work out, let me go enjoy the tea, and I'll see you guys later. And start our day. And start our day. Yeah, I'm on my 
not wait till home depot to go change well not go change i think they call it a propane exchange so it's an exchange i give them my empty one and they give me a full tank they don't do a refill in home depot so that's why i'm heading and hopefully i will have enough time to go inside target again yeah but right now i'm on my way to home depot It is cold outside even though it's bright sunny it's like like it's windy i was watching this show like my korean drama because you guys know i'm a big fan of korean drama and i'm watching the the queen of tear like what i was expecting from the show when i when i saw the preview i thought the girl was the queen of tear but what i realized is it's the husband that's the queen of tear and i'm sorry if any of you like do watch korean show and i'm spoiling it a little bit but that's why the first two episodes was all about so i'm here in home depot but look how beautiful are the flowers i didn't think about it because i'm just thinking about oh i just want to come and get some the propane tank but like oh i forgot it's spring and the flowers are out but let me show you guys look at the greenery oh, i forgot this is my season even though allergies is killing me but look at, look at how beautiful all these spring flowers like everything is like fresh they haven't died yet oh look at the shrubs oh look at this look at this but let me go pay for my propane exchange because the lady literally told me i couldn't bring it inside the store so i gotta go pay for my propane okay guys propane secure now let me see if i could rush to target i know my kids always ask me why like i rush everywhere i mean let me not see let me see if i could rush to target but did you guys see the flowers that i just showed you i need to come here in the evening because it is hold on it is really really windy outside and okay now let me see if i could make it to target and let's see if they have the the set that i want because last time when i went there i didn't oh and my hair is pulling i didn't check the website at my local store to give me the location if they had anything available i just decided oh i'm gonna go to i should i go on the other side because then i wouldn't have to take the line i'm just i decided to just show up at target but right now i checked the local store and the local i checked the local store and they told me the website is saying there is in stock so let's go see if it's true or not the only thing i don't like about target top and that's why i don't get my sport bra at lululemon or any other place the only place i get my sport bra or event sport bra their bra is the sport bra is stuck in like the thing the little spongy that's in there is built in so i do not have to worry about my sport bra coming off and i have to put it back and sometimes when you put it back that thing be looking like <laughs> so so that's the only place i get my sport bra like i've been buying over there i think happy stylish mommy was one of the first person that introduced me to eva sport bra and since then that's the only place like every year if i need to restock on my sport bra i will go to evet I would go to Yvette's for bra like they sell um athletic stuff but the only thing I think I got from them so far is their bra like their bra are the best like the thing the spongy thing doesn't come out is built in so you don't have to worry about try to figure out which direction you need to put it in yeah you don't have to worry about that so that's why I'm a little septic about getting the set because when I saw um the other thing when i saw the other one even though they wasn't my size or the size i was looking for the little spongy is not built in so that's when i will have i'm thinking maybe before i could if i could just sew it in and it'll just stay in place the way it came in oh that's an idea 
probably try to like sew it in and make sure it stay in place because I hate when the sponge come out and I have to put it back in there it never come like it make my titties look a different titties that's it and I, I said it the titties doesn't doesn't look good on the sport bra when the sponge come out and I have to put it back okay I said it I said it okay now let's move on now let's go see if they have my size and the set I'm looking for yep 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 Mariah in the target and I don't think I'm gonna take you guys inside because the other day I take you guys inside so I'm just gonna go see if they have it and I'll see you guys in a little while hi guys I am getting ready to take a shower today I did a little run around I got my propane tank like I showed you guys earlier and see Home Depot had a lot of nice flowers and I think I want to go back this weekend to take my time to floss because I have allergy right now so I have to really be careful of me picking up of me picking up flowers so I am thinking but right now I'm gonna go take off my makeup and go take a shower and I'm doing some editing on the vlog I gotta do I still didn't find a short the short set that I went even though my local store stayed, they had my size, it wasn't stuck when I went over there. I couldn't find none. All I found was medium, large, extra large. They didn't have my size. So at this point on, I was like, you know what? It's not meant to be. I'm going to leave it alone. But right now, it's 8.23. Going to get ready to go wind down and do what I'm supposed to do with edit my video and enjoy the rest of the evening i'll see you guys tomorrow hi guys what's today today is thursday yesterday i just had an admin day i had to like remove some file of my computer remove some of the old youtube video from last year remove them to a backup drive so yesterday for me was more like a admin day so as you guys can see I just came out of Sephora and I got myself some goodie because I had a gift card and plus I needed to get my daughter a birthday gift and if you know you know she want so the Janetta for that's part of her with that well that one is part of her list so um let me turn my AC on because outside is cold inside is hot but what can we do I don't know if you guys really yeah so guys I came out of Sephora but for some reason my bad my camera was heated up so it's completely shut down on its own I don't know what that is all about even in the middle of summer I don't even get camera heated when it's sitting on my dashboard but for some reason it was like mm, camera heated up camera need to shut down and I still look pretty so I was like, okay, camera, shut down. So when I get home, I will share with you guys my little goodie bag that I got from Sephora today. But the main thing I went in Sephora for was the Whey product, like O-U-O-I. I don't know if I'm saying the name right, because you guys know, as of right now, all of you, my friend, because I consider you guys my friend. Some of the words, I don't like to say them because, because I have a French background some of the pronunciation doesn't come out the way it's supposed to come out so because of that I prefer sometimes to spell the word or I prefer to show you guys in camera the item that I bought so that's what I did I went to Sephora for the the hand wash and lotion for the from the whey product because I heard a lot about a lot of people wave about it. it's really good and in the summertime and spring for some reason my hand get really dry with everything that I touch, I wash my hand more often. I even got, yeah, well, when I get home, I'll show you guys what I got from Sephora. Because of that, I wanted to get it, but I always forgot that the Sephora, my local Sephora is not like a men's Sephora, it's just a Sephora inside cold. Yeah, let's continue the conversation, but this is the goodies. But this is what I don't get. Like, at age of 40, when are you going to tell yourself, I deserve happiness, I want happiness, I'm gonna fight for my happiness because in all honesty, if you're unhappy, most likely your partner or your husband or your significant order is unhappy. 
your kids are unhappy. Your friend, anybody that's around you are unhappy because the good vibration, the good energy they are looking from you, they are not getting it. So if you are unhappy and you think, oh, it's because you're married, you're unhappy, do something about it. Fine, when you were here on your early teen uh, or on your late teen, 17, 18, why used to make you happy? Before you got married, what was you to, what, before you got married, what, was you, what, what used to make you happy? What was the item that was the thing in your early life, before you got married, before you had kids, that used to make you happy? And start from there. Start working on you. Because you're saying you're not happy and you think your happiness, somebody else is responsible for, for it? No. No one is responsible for your happiness. You have to find a way to find your happiness back. And as your kids are getting older, they no longer need you, it's easier to start working on yourself. It's, it's easier to find like the confidence to like, oh, I'm gonna go do this, I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, sometimes you're not gonna get the approval of the people you're waiting for to get the approval, but you're gonna have to do it because it's gonna bring you something called inner peace. I've been married for 20 years, so trust me, I've been in a relationship for 20 years. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm an expert, like if you have a problem, I could fix it. But there is some little thing, us as women, especially the one that's like between 35, 40, that's been married, that's been in a relationship long, or that have kids that's underage, like, and sometimes you overwhelm, you feel depressed, you're unhappy. There's stuff you could do about it. Like, there is little thing you could start do, you could start implementing in your life that will make you Feel, don't feel guilty if you're going to get your nails done. Don't feel guilty if you're a girly girl, you gotta get your hair, nails, and everything done. A massage, a facial. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty even if you don't have the money. The only thing you wanna do is take a walk in the park. Don't feel guilty. Girl, do it. Because at 40, we shouldn't be unhappy. I am sorry. Because 50, 60, 70, what? Like you tr you're gonna be happy when yeah, like your friend is pushing you on the real card and you got an oxygen tank? Because I mean, that, I'm not saying all of us are gonna be there, but that, that's, that, that's, that's, like this, that's the end game. Like 70, 80, I'm hoping I'm still cute, sexy, confident, but if, he, if he's, that's, that's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. So why kill yourself? Choose happiness over everything. It will be okay. They will feel love, they will feel cherished, they will feel appreciated, they will feel you understanding them, so as for your partner. Choose happiness. Work on it. That was the message for today. But let me share my little goodie from... Is the bag backward? Nah. <laughs> let me share my little goodie I got from Sephora because I have, I have my list here. All the rest of the stuff I'm supposed to be ordering online because, like I said... My little Sephora is a bootleg Sephora. I said it. It's a bootleg Sephora because there is not a time I go in there. And I was so excited when they opened it last year. Oh, I got a Sephora. I don't need to drive 45 minutes away. But yeah, I'm still going to have to drive 45 minutes away. I'm going to order all these. I don't know if you guys can see. see? My, my, my phone is acting up. Uh, maybe I need to. I got all this in my cart. And... I'm going to order them. I really want this. Even though I got the cherry version of it. I'm going to order that. And I, I want to try the Kiali perfume also. And the Whey product. So I'm going to try. Let me see. Maybe I need to lower. Yeah. This is my list. I don't know if you guys can see it. I only got four items. Usually I get a lot more than that. On my card so and I also want to try the tropical high roller in growth tonic hair I want to try that too and see if he if he's really do what he says he's supposed to show you guys what I got yeah this is one of the first thing I got is the touch land that one I got it for my car the touch land um, hand sanitizer I know I'm in love with this at first I was like $10 for a hand sanitizer but when COVID hit I'm like, there is nothing expensive for my life. So I got that. And this is what my daughter wants for. That's part of what my daughter wants for her birthday. The Sol Janeiro. That's number 59. I don't know how it smells. So I cannot tell you how it smells. That's what she wants. That's what she get. And 
I wanted to, I have like a sample sample of that. And before I had my braid, I was using it. I think I got two wash out of the sample and it's finishing. So I just got a small one and see if I really like it. Then I'll get the big one on the way shampoo because the sample, oh my God, did wonder for my hair that I had like, cause you know, I'm natural and I had a lot of gel build up on my hair from pulling it back for sleek and everything. So it was crystal clean after I came from washing it. So I'm going to try this, which is the, that's not the sample. That's just like the a small, I guess. But so I'm going to try the Sephora lip liner. Let me see. What was the name I get? I just tried the color and I like the color. So I didn't really look at the name. So the Sephora, it doesn't have a name on it. Molas, Molasse or Molas. Mm. Number 17, Molas. So right now when you see me next time, uh, I'm going to be a lip liner and I'm going to go back to my teen. Yeah, I'm gonna tell myself that. So that's good morning, guys. Um, I just made breakfast. I'm gonna have some waffle, and I'm supposed to be leaving because tomorrow is a big day. It's Laura's birthday. My beautiful princess is turning 15. Can you imagine? 15. So I gotta go order her cake, but I wanted to eat something because it's 12.30. I am trying to get back on my, like eat at 12 and eat at one, four, five, six o'clock is my latest that I eat. Try to get back to my normal routine because for some reason I kind of fell off the routine and I don't like being out of my routine. So I feel like my bra is, is my bra is, is killing me too. Like what the hell? Oh, let me show you the fit for today. Yep. My pants, yep. So that's what I'm wearing, and I'm on my way to go order Laura cake, but I need to eat breakfast first. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys as soon as I finish eating my breakfast. Finish, finish, I don't know why I'm bending down. Finish eating my breakfast. I gotta go get my purse, and we're gonna go order the cake. Let's go. Yup, I just left the house. I am on the way, but look at my lip liner, guys. Um, hold on, look at my lip liner. Ooh, I remember back in the 90s, I was a lip liner girl. It's like everything shiny and liner. Like, look at it. That's the lip liner that I show you guys from my little, excuse me, mini haul from Sephora. So, look at it. Mm. This is nice. Oh. I like. Ooh. Who's that new girl? Mm, the new girl from the block. The, the, mm, mm. This is nice. I like it. Yep. 15 years ago. I didn't know I was gonna meet the most beautiful woman. Well, she's not a woman yet. The most beautiful girl in the whole world. The girl that stole my heart. She's turning 15 tomorrow. I don't know how she feel about that. Like, where did time go? I went to order my cake, stop at Walmart. I wanna make some big ziti and some pickles. It's like an Asian thing you eat with plantain, either sweet plantain and grill and stuff like that. But I'm only gonna make grilled chicken because you guys know I'm trying to be on the right track. And while I was in Walmart, I wanted to share this with you guys. Look at it. I found the Starbucks caramel macchiato and it says zero creamer, zero added sugar. So I'm gonna try it and see. And it's only like 20 calorie. And I'm going to try and see because like zero added sugar. So I'm, I'm going to try this on my espresso that I do every other day or every day. Depends on the mood. And I'll let you guys know how I like it. And if any of you use it or if any of you try it before, also let me know if it's good. If it's because I'm trying to lower my sugar intake on whatever I'm drinking or eating. So let me know. Yeah. And, uh, in Walmart I mean in Target I didn't find it in Target and I got myself some taco I got like original taco mild taco 
Taco Bell Taco. An original taco. Because the other day I ran out of taco powder. I got myself some avocado. Uh, feta cheese to put on my salad and I love this and I got myself a couple sweet plantain and I mean couple a lot of sweet plantain, plantain. Mm -hmm. yeah let's not see how many we got because we love sweet plantain in this out the ZD is in the oven so guys this is the pickles and give you a close up as I look. so guys this is my food I have some plantain some pickles and some grilled chicken I'm going to enjoy on this Sunday Shit for entertainment Crazy thinking that it's day one All this benefit for the taking 